some mother out there is going to love their child someday just like every other mother. This is what we got out of Baby Pictures, uh, but Billy loves just such an everyday, and I mean, I don't even know why he's trying to say it, because he wouldn't at the time, such every fucking day, and not just for his legs, because he's still going to do that. Oh man, I used to have back problems so fucking bad, and then some dude made some big post about me stretching that, and that you did that, and I was like, oh my god, you're so fucking right, the back is connected to your neck. Well, let me tell you something, that's a lie. I always make a top, I just put a little top on the door, and that's how I know that I stretch my back. I do a couple side twists, front twists, a couple side twists. Uh, so if you get stretches for your kids, obviously you do it. Okay, so let's find the kids. People get here and like, I'm a kid, I'm Italian, I can't go anywhere there. You're wrong. Well, if you're not doing shit, you ain't fucking trying. You came here trying to get on YouTube and Instagram.
So when you're doing that, like, you know, it's easier to just tweet it out. But everything's blocked now. And then nobody hears it. It's much easier that way than to just retweet it. every fucking day. What you gonna do about it? All right, so I got pretty flexible, but uh, still my body just feels so awkward when I kiss. Like, what should I think about? Here's what you should think about. You should think about what's called backside stance. I'm in backside stance. That's my face when I'm kissing. That's what it is. I believe it. I believe it. I don't know if you did this in men, but that's what I'm doing. Look your right ear. It's the best, prettiest way to kick this ninja. I stretch my heel all the way around so my heel faces my target and it's flat. You see that? That's a stretch. It's flat. Because when your heel faces the target, it, it like tilts everything and shakes it all and sucks it down. It gives you more power to punch. This is the head, head face to ace of one more kick with the ninja's head right here. somebody from my position, I'm going to bash them in with my heel. And I'm thinking, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, the heel would hurt a lot more than putting them in some slacker. But here's why you want to punch your toe. Because if you look, this is my heel right here. But this part of my heel is actually a very tender part. This is like connected to my Achilles tendon. This is one of my weakest spots in my leg, actually. Right here, though, is a bunch of calluses. I can walk on plastic with this thing. Like, dumbass, murder people with that. So why do you throw your toes on a hook kick? Here's why. Because if you hit them with this, ouch, for you. But when you're pointing your toe down, you just made a tomahawk, and now you can hit them with the bottom part. That's why you point your toes. Because you're going to need them. Thank you. 
Well, then what's a hypocrite? A hypocrite's actually has a little side stuff on it. Uh-huh. A hypocrite comes across as a hypocrite. So the main difference is on a crescent, the legs will come all the way across and down. But on a hypocrite, they'll come across the body, but they'll stop right here. And now from here, they'll bow to control to do whatever you want. Your legs kind of break it. Listen to this now. So you go, and it's got some snap to it. It's got some pizzazz to it. And it, and overall, it, it looks better. I like the subjective term, but it looks more controlled because there's more going on to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you go back to like you did like double back with me and took some hips and back out, one of them looks like there's more going on. They all work as good tripods. Kicking leg that is doing everything. It is an entire body. Every fucking thing is doing something. It's not just your opposite leg, not just your regular leg. Your arm's doing some shit. A lot of people want to do two nines, nice and do all the fucking time, and they want to leave. Hey, no, it's touching. 
there and such and such. I don't think so bad. Okay, now you see how if you're going to punch into your chin, you simply must punch. Punch down to block your, your ass from getting kicked in the chin. Every time you kick, you're basically leaving yourself open to get jacked in the head. So you've got these eight grips. You can choose. You can walk in those eight two miles. You can punch down. You don't have to. You can tell your body the opposite way to punch in. And if you can be even higher, that's what you can do on purpose. Pull the hips and your body back. That's what creates the head grip. There you go. So it's not just fist legs. You also want to think about this leg. Your non-kicking leg. Because it's like, you can throw this leg out. Yeah, it's going to affect you, but it's just as ugly. The whole chest kind of looks ugly. You want this leg to work with this leg that's a green man to make everybody fall in love with this thing. So, I mean, when you do a tornado or a cheat nine, it's just kind of a little too sexy. Just every time, you just kind of paddle it a little bit. A little bit. At least put some thought into your strike leg. I mean, just a little bit. I mean, if you're going to flavor it, point the toe. I mean, that looks always more sexy than a nine. Point a fist. 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 Point a f